Chris Minaj. G'day guys, welcome back to the Hobby Hatch. As I'm sure many of you are aware, Dune Part 2 came out recently. Now sandworms are cool, and I like the creative take they gave the worms in the movies, but kind of like the worms from the book art better. So in this diorama I've decided to mash the book art and the movies together. So drawing from the book art, I found this STL file of a retro sandworm sculpted by Yuka Stepanen, sorry if I butch that, over on my mini factory, and this portrayal of an Atreides Ornithopter by Eternal 3D Prints over on Colts 3D. If you fancy printing these for yourself, I'll leave the links to where you can find them in the description below. As you've just seen, I started the process by giving the worm a pre-shade using white acrylic ink directionally sprayed through the airbrush. I then went about tinting the worm with a thin mixture of Mournfang Brown sprayed through the airbrush. I made sure to apply the paint in thin layers to preserve the pre-shade we added in the previous step. Then to push the highlights a little further, I sprayed each light volume with a lighter Bane Blade Brown. Next, I sprayed the inside of the worm's mouth with Volpa's pink contrast paint, which tinted the inside of the mouth with a nice maroon colour. Finally, I gave the entire model a coat of matte varnish to give it a matte finish and to protect its paint job for later steps. I then moved on to the Ornithopter. Much like the Sandworm, I gave the Ornithopter a pre-shade, this time using a medium grey instead of white ink to ensure the model still reads as black or dark grey once we finish painting it. I then dry brush the entire model with Administrator Grey. And gave the whole thing a coat of null oil. Some of the key areas of the mold were then dry brushed with a bright silver metallic paint, in this case Vallejo Steel. The cockpit glass was then painted black, which was then given a coat of gloss varnish to make it a bit shinier. Onto the base. I started out with my usual XPS foam glued down to a cork placemat, which I shaped into an elongated pill shape off camera. As the series title demands, this diorama wouldn't be complete without some dunes, 
So using some foam off cuts that I shaped with a knife and file, I added just that. After testing the placement of the worm, I filled all the gaps between the foam parts using plaster hole filler. I then glued down the worm and merged it into the base with the same plaster hole filler. Once everything had dried, I sealed the foam and gave it some further texture using a mixture of plaster, paint and Mod Podge. With that dry, I masked over all the parts of the worm that were already painted and took the entire thing outside to prime. For painting the terrain, I went with a base coat of Morgas Bone by Citadel, all sprayed through the airbrush. This was then highlighted with Screaming Skull by Citadel. I dry brushed all the terrain with a very bright ivory colour. And added some dusty effects using Vallejo Light Yellow Ochre Pigment Powder. The last step was to add the ornithopter, which I did by drilling a hole for an acrylic lollipop stick and gluing the ornithopter to the top.
with all that together, I gave the room the diorama a fresh coat of black paint, and it was on to the glamour shots. Thanks so much for watching everyone, I hope you all enjoyed and if you did and want to support the channel, the best way you can do that is by leaving a like and subscribing for more. Also if you have any feedback or questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section below, I'll try to get back to each and every one of them. Anyway, thanks so much for watching everyone, stay tuned for more and I'll see you in the next one.